So the young girl, after three dates, takes this young man to Walmart and asks him to buy her some groceries. She gets $472 worth of groceries and wants him to pay for it. Girl, where your mama? Your daddy? How about the baby daddy? I got three sons that I raised, three men on game. Always been on game and gonna stay on game. And if y'all got sons, y'all better put them on game. Because this bullshit that these girls going through these days is crazy. So, they want the guy to have a black card. They ain't got a green and white charm card. Oh, damn. They want the guy to have a Lamborghini and a Maserati, and they ain't even got a Honda. But they want to match that energy. Let me tell you something, baby. Take my son to Walmart and embarrass him, and he's asking you to leave. I'm going to match your energy. You may hear this later on when you get older and you come back and you realize that you should have got a man earlier. But modern women listen. Listen good. You will never get better until you do better. You have two choices in this life. You can either do better or you can you can either get better or get better. The choice is yours. You can continue to chase after the illusion of wealth. Or you can upgrade your life, be a humble woman, be a submissive woman, be a woman that is worthy of being a wife. Or you can continue down the road of destruction and chaos and never get married, never have a family, and grow old and die alone. <laughs> What's going on and welcome to another episode, another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And today, we have a special video just for modern women. I want all the modern women to gather around because today's video is just for you let's roll it so the young girl after three dates takes this young man to walmart and asks him to buy her some groceries she gets 472 dollars worth of groceries and wants him to pay for it girl where your mama your daddy how about the baby daddy fuck them kids i got three sons that i raised three men on game Always been on game and gonna stay on game. And if y'all got sons, y'all better put them on game. Because this bullshit that these girls going through these days is crazy. So, they want the guy to have a black card. They ain't got a green and white charm card. Oh, damn. They want the guy to have a Lamborghini and a Maserati. And they ain't even got a Honda. But they want to match that energy. Let me tell you something, baby. Take my son to Walmart. And embarrass him and he's asking you to leave. I'm going to match your energy. Because I'm going to come and whoop your ass. No, I got the conscience. And I don't care how immature y'all mamas or daddies think it is. Okay? If you look, meet a man and you like him, he ain't quite where you at, work with him. Meet a man, he ain't on your level, let him go. He'll get some out of he deserve and you'll get some out of you deserve. But y'all got these girls thinking they're entitled to what? They ain't entitled to take care of their own kids. They ain't entitled to call their mamas, their daddies, their baby daddies to take care of their kids. Not guys on dates. Y'all better put these young men on game for real, man. This shit f***ed up. She's speaking the truth. This older woman is laying the game down. I don't have nothing to say, y'all. I'm done. And I am thankful that this woman, this black, older, elder woman is standing up against modern women. I am thankful for any woman who stands up against modern women. We live in a day and age 
where modern women make up over 90% of the dating pool. They're chasing the 12 to 17% that make 100K a year. And this is the issue with the market. Just because you are a woman does not entitle you to anything a man has. The lobster lady, the oyster lady, I'm too good for Olive Garden lady. And you notice a trend. All of these women are single. They're all single. They're all unmarried. They're all unwed. They're all entitled. And they're all middle to below average women. And there's a trend. All of these women have weave, tiger claws, caked on makeup, entitlement, and they're modern women. You get nothing. You lose. And now even the older black women are taking a stand against them. And rightfully so. I mean, if you look at it like this, you can want a man that makes a lot of money, but you can't afford him. You can't afford that lifestyle. Everybody wants to drive a BMW or a Bentley until that repair bell hit. And see, what modern women do is they chase the illusion of wealth. In the black community, we look at what we have on as the representation of how much money we have. Black people, we got to stop that because most people that have money aren't going to flaunt it. You think that a person with money is going to wear a turtleneck with the word Armani Exchange on the front. They're going to wear Louis Vuitton shoes with the red bottoms. They're going to wear Nike Air 1s and Nike Air Maxes and Joe Wharton's. But that's not wealth. You can have Joe Wharton's and Apple Watches and MacBooks and iPads and be broke as a joke. Only in the black community do we judge a person by name brands. We are the only group of people that care more about the clothes that we have, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Chanel, wealthy people that don't care about that. Because what you don't see is that black people, and I'm talking the blacks, we worship celebrities. We really do. We care more about Nicki Minaj's new album than we care about financial literacy. We care more about the new Jordan ones that are coming out than we do about investing in stock options. This is why the black community has nothing but modern women in it. Modern women are chasing the illusion of money. So I'm going to leave you with a message. And you may hear this later on when you get older and you come back and you realize that you should have got a man earlier. But modern women, listen, listen good. You will never get better until you do better. You can either get better or get better. The choice is yours. You can continue to chase after the illusion of wealth, or you can upgrade your life. Be a humble woman. Be a submissive woman. Be a woman that is worthy of being a wife. Or you can continue down the road of destruction and chaos and grow old and die alone. These are your only two choices in life. You don't have a third option.
if you want to get married, this is why women will always say, well, we don't care what men think. Well, you should. Because you're trying to marry a man, right? So in order to get the man you want, you have to embody what that man values. I'm giving you the secret to success. If you want to get married and you want to have a family and be taken care of as a woman, then you have to become the embodiment of what a man wants. If you don't do that, you'll be single for a very long time. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload new content. And until the next video, peace.